Welcome to Disky Galore. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Yo, Tengaleng Amakosi. Yo, to be honest, yeah, I, I think there's a bit of division happening. Yo, I've seen some selfishness Nyana, from Billiard. I've seen, I don't know what's going on between Mart and, and Ustebe in that midfield. You know, I feel like Tebe sometimes, you know, he's all over. You know, I think he confuses the others. Matlo is good. It's just that I don't think he is offensive enough, which is what Kiza Chiefs is looking for. Obviously, Umatubuyele, so, you know, they should be more attacking, you know. But you'll see when they get the balls, most of the time, they want to give it to Gwenika, they want to give it to Ngobo. You know, and Ngobo or Kune is the one who must find Biliad, Sehota, and um, Dupriya. Another thing, Dupriya should come on the left hand side, Sehota should be on the right hand side. I believe that's where they are mostly offensive. Biliad, I think he's being played as a false nine today. He's not giving, you know, I thought, you know, maybe removing Dolly and putting one of them would make a huge difference. But still, I feel like he has the ability to play. We all know Pilat is a good player. He's been playing consistently, but he hasn't been giving. And I feel like there was an opportunity where he shouldn't have, you know, tried to take it on his own. Should have just tried to give it to Ulo. The prayer who was better positioned to score. So I feel like there's some kind of selfishness, obviously, with the pressure, wanting to prove, you know, a point. Defensively, Casey Chief started a bit shaky, to be honest, uh, with Gwenika nearly, you know, um, causing an, an own goal, but uh, fortunately it wasn't. So, yeah, after that, uh, Ngobo picked up a yellow card, which I think was not fair. Nobo for me has been good, you know, defensively. I think Chiefs in J defensively about Lanti, they've done great. Then they get the penalty, unfortunately. Ish Solomons. I, 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 I never thought Solomons would ever miss a penalty, you know. He's been scoring consistently when it comes to penalties. But yeah, he missed the penalty. Overall, ish, I am not so convinced, especially with that midfield. I don't think they do link up, man, with that front three of his achieves, you know. I think bringing the legs of Ungo Sengpile and Obo, who is more of offensive, would, would do great, you know, for Matlo, for me. And because uh, achieves, man, in as a striker, man, Let's try him out. Let's try. Let's try. Let's put him in your manner and see what he has, you know. We have Sehota. We have... We have Udo Prayer. Me, I would take out Upilet and put um, U -U Upimenyimana and then bring on Ungobo and remove U Umatlo. Or also bring Yenalapana Udoli for Ustebe maybe. Or, you know, U -U -Ulo. Umatlo, one of them. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Yeah, you can just tell me what you think about it. On the side of Amazulu, Amazulu is doing great, to be honest. I, I just think they are still, I don't know, they, they look shy. They look shy and, you know, they have nice players. They have Abu Mango causing problems for Chiefs, you know. They have, you know, Abu Nduli Pambili, which I don't think Nduli is effective. I, I think they should introduce maybe Machoro or Zuma, you know, but Gwem is okay. Yeah, they're doing great. They're doing great, you know. Uh, Makaula showing uh, experience in that middle field. They're doing great. It's just that they haven't, you know, gotten, you know, in that final threat, they just cannot put it, you know, on target. They can't take enough shots. Second half, for me, guys, I told you, uh, I still see a draw for this game. I still maintain that uh, it's going to be a draw. Yeah, 